Hi everybody, we're here to talk about the Training Room Olympics. We're doing the Training Room Olympics on November 3rd. Uh, starting at 9 p.m., we're going to have a torch run from this gym in Point Pleasant to Avon Beach, which is going to be uh, one mile intervals, but we'll talk about that later. Um, that's going to be the, part of the opening ceremonies. But anyway, we're going to go over the rules and the regulations of the Training Room Olympics. All right, first event is going to be the mile run, and then after we to explain the, the uh, the uh, rules and regulations, we're going to talk about the categories, all right? So starting, it's going to be a five-person team. Uh, we're going to start with a mile run. If you only have four people on your team, then that's okay. You can always have one person do two events. They just have to suck it up. But anyway, one mile, one, one mile run to the first event is going to be a relay event. So it's a one-mile run as fast as you can. Okay, from there, it's going to be the kettlebell, uh, the snatch. So. Jim will go over the snatch rules. It's going to be a um, it's going to be a hundred snatches. So basically, when your partner gets done with the run, they have to tag you. You'd be the second person. You're going to start your snatches. It's a hundred snatches any way you want to get them done. You don't have to stay on one side for 50 and the other side for 50. I don't care how you do it. You can switch as many times as you want. Put it down as many times as you want. But the obvious the objective is to get it done as fast as possible. So snatch. Full extension, you cannot stop here. It's got to be full extension. Like I said, switching as many times or as little times as you want. But again, the goal is to get 100 as fast as you can. So once you complete your 100 snatches, you will run to your third partner and they're going to do the burpee challenge. Burpee challenge is also 100 reps. Burpee rules, chest must touch the ground. Doesn't matter how, knees down is fine, chest must touch. Come up, arms overhead, vertical leap. That's one burpee. Every burpee must match that exact, that first burpee. We will have a judge with every person to make sure each one counts. If it doesn't count, you gotta do another burpee. So again, Full burpee, down, chest touches, up, vertical leap. From there, you'll take your next partner. This is where it gets a little sketchy. We threw in kipping pull-ups just because of the length of time it would take for people to do a dead hang 100. So we're staying consistent with more explosive movements. So option one is a kipping pull-up. But still, we're not doing the I don't know what they're called. The uh, butterfly? Butterfly or whatever that is. I don't even know how to do that. But That's kind of We're going to show but... you a basic kipping pull up. You're also going to have your option of doing a jumping. So, here, chin over the bar. Chin over the bar. Very little kip. You can kip as much as you want, obviously. This does not count. Eyes focus straight ahead. Boom. Over. So, you got 100. Now, for those of you who cannot do a hundred kipping pull-ups, you have your option of doing a jumping pull-up. We will have a ring set up for you about an inch above your head. You'll go into a full lockout position, full squat, explode up, rings must touch your shoulders, arms must lock out. So you got 100. Also, what we're going to do for the jumpers, we're going to add one minute to your time. So if it takes you 450 to do your jumping, it's actually a 550. We're adding one minute to jumping pull-ups. From there, you will run out, tag your partner. We're getting to the press category. It's going to be a push press, most likely, unless you're some freak. You're going to do 100. It's just like the snatches, as many as you can. You can switch as any time you want. Doesn't have to be even on both sides. So, bell comes up, full lockout. <clears throat> you can do lockout. jerks too, right? Jerks. Yep. That's absolutely fine. Any way you want to get the bell up over your head, but this wouldn't count. Would have to be doing the jerk. You got to lock your legs out. So you got your hundred. Once you complete that, or your partner completes that. The whole team will 
grab two kettlebells. And we'll go over the weights in a few minutes and do a farmer's walk. 1.5 mile run or walk, whatever, however way you want to do it, to get it done as quick as possible. So you'll grab 224s and hit it. Once you complete your mile and a half, your time is done, and that's your time for the day. Hope you have fun. All right, we're also going to talk about the categories. We're going to have a mint open. We're just going to use a 20 mint open. We'll use 24 kilogram kettlebells uh, for all the kettlebell movements. Women's open, we'll use a 16 kilo. There's going to be a women's novice, which we use a 12 kilo. Men's novice, we use a 20 kilo. Um, we're going to have co-ed, open, and novice. Okay, co-ed open, we'll use, men will use 24, women will use 16. Co-ed novice, we'll use a, a 20 and a 12 kilo, men and women. All right, we're also going to try, we're going to put an Ironman event out there too. If somebody wants to attempt this, this whole thing by themselves, um, then go for it. Okay, Ironman event, Iron Woman, Iron Man. The only thing is, you will finish with a, uh, what do we say, quarter, quarter, quarter mile, mile, quarter a quarter mile, mile farmer walk solo. So that'd be around, or pretty much around our building um, in Avon. All right, so once you get through all your hundreds of reps, then you grab your bells and you go around the building. That's the Iron Man event. All right, so we'll keep you updated on this. Um, this is going to be for charity. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, I'll talk more about this as, um, as, as, as we progress um, when we get closer to the event. All right? Have let fun. Us, let us know if you have any questions. See you later.